All right, this is another good latching on and off circuit that I found online, but I modified it a little bit. All right, this one here was the other video that I made. And this schematic right here, all right, I don't know if I can see it too well, but this schematic right here, it consists of one hex inverter. I think that's a, I think the one I have here is a 74HC14. You could use also like a 6069 or I think even a 4069 will work. So just try a few different ones. But this is it. I, this was a 0.1 UF. I changed that to 0.01. That goes to ground. The momentary switch is right there. I'm going to actually use an opto isolator for this right here. And I'm going to trigger it from another circuit at that point. This is a 4.7 meg resistor. I'm using a 5.1. Just a couple of simple connections here. That's 100K. That's the same. It was calling for a P channel. And I only had an N channel and a BS170. And it works. Everything works fine. I'm going to demonstrate right now. This will handle a relay up to a half of an amp. So I'll show you with this automotive bulb. I'm going to touch these two wires together, and then you're going to see that light come on. It's on. Wires are apart. Now I'm going to touch it again. Just see the light go off. Let me go to angle there. Off. On. Off. I can leave that on. This transistor right here does not get hot at all. I mean, this, uh, I guess it's a MOSFET. P-channel MOSFET? Uh, yeah, this is an N-channel. So I got that going. But this is, real, this is a real handy circuit right here. So if you're looking for another variation of this, without all these transistors and all these resistors, you're going to want to check this one out right here. You just got one integrated circuit, N channel MOSFET, and two resistors and a capacitor. I didn't even use an electrolytic, I just used a regular capacitor. Still going. Not even warm. The integrated circuit, eh, slightly, slightly warm.